morning you guys and welcome to another yard sailing video. Before we go out and hit the yard sales, I do want to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor. That sponsor is Vendu. If you've never heard of Vendu before, it is a fantastic tool for resellers. It's basically a cross-posting software. Full disclosure, I use them myself. I pay for them out of pocket every single month. It is a tool that is so valuable to me in my reselling business because otherwise I'd procrastinate and think of every excuse under the sun to not cross-post my items on multiple platforms and then they wouldn't get seen by as many people and quite frankly I don't think they would ever sell as quickly as they do. I opt into several features with Vendu so that I can put my listing up on eBay initially and I can import all of that information straight into Vendu and immediately like literally in just like a minute or two of tweaking a title maybe adding a keyword here all that kind of stuff I can push it out to all my other platforms which for me are Poshmark, Macari and Etsy because I sell on four different platforms. Again Vendu makes this super simple because it brings all of that information from my initial eBay listing, the weight, the dimensions, the description, the title, the photographs, everything that you can think of comes through from eBay into Vendu and then goes straight out to those other platforms. So it simplifies the process to no end for me. And quite frankly, as a working homeschooling mother, I need all the help that I can get. <laughs> so like I said, Vendu simplifies that for me. It also gives me the ability with the D-list and relist feature to take any item that is sold on one platform down from all of the other platforms with just like one click of the button basically, which again is such a time saver and it means that I don't accidentally leave an item up and sell it again on a different platform to a different buyer by mistake and then I have to cancel and it's a whole thing. Vendu saves me that kind of headache, which quite frankly is just about priceless. <laughs> so this is a monthly subscription service, like I said, that I pay for out of pocket because I find it to be so useful for my business. And if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about it and seeing if it's something that might help you with your workflow as well, there is an affiliate link down below, but it does give you a sweet deal of 25% off your first month. So if you want to give it a try and just see if it's something that will help you out, that's a great way to go about it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments as well. I'm always happy to help. And without further ado, let's go yard sailing. <laughs> hey, could I put this down while I keep looking? Is that okay? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Are they both in the house? 
I had these and the blocks. I was wondering if she might do 10 for the two of them together. How much did she get on? She got 750 on this and five on that. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. We're just busy. Oh, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Hi. I had to No, you're fine. I wanted to ask, you got five on those and 750 on these. Would you do 10 for the two? Sure. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Am I being gopro Well. Is that okay? <laughs> I guess. It's more the stuff than anything else. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> hey, He's got hundreds of those in the house. They're very cool. Well. Too many to bring out. Yeah, thank you so You're much. Welcome. I Have appreciate it. You too. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Enjoy those shoes. Thank you. Enjoy your future you GoPro video. Thank you. <laughs> you put it on YouTube or something? Yes, I do. I have a YouTube channel all about just buying stuff at yard sales, yeah. basically. So. Well, thanks for buying our junk. Well, thank you for selling it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I better grab that too. There you go. Thank you. You got it? Yeah, I do. Good luck with the sale. Thank you for <laughs> Hey y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay. And are okay, awesome. Thank you. Well, hot, like, oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show your pictures. Mm -hmm. She's probably doing like every <laughs> cents each. Okay. They're kind of cool. They are kind of cool. They're different. They don't have a little shit mop. They used, they're old. Yeah. They're fun. Her cousins used to have them hanging in their room. Oh, really? They were scared. Scared. Oh. Scared them. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Oh. But it's a Shaun of the Dead. Dead. Uh huh. That's kind of fun. All right. I think I'm ready. I can wait till she comes back out. That's okay. All right. I think I'm ready. Right. I got a t shirt, candle holder, and two pictures. Is it acid or dollar for both of those pictures? Okay. Yeah. And 50 cents and 50 cents. No. Two like that. A dollar 75. There we go. You just give me three dollars back. Call it two. You sure? Yeah, that's that fine. Dude keeps coming. He keeps coming in here. He ain't living here. Let's go on your regular tennis shoes. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't think I'd last long. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. No wait. Oh, Here. cheers. Look, I went the other way. <laughs> it's the same. Oh, I don't blame you. Just saying, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, you too. Have a good one. you guys welcome to the haul so two yard sale worth here and obviously not too many things but i'm happy with what i picked up so uh let's start with the smaller yard sale first and uh, there wasn't a lot left here honestly it was the end of the day slim pickings all the good stuff but i'm happy with what i found and i found it for like i think she charged me a dollar 75 for everything i paid two dollars to save the quarter but either way 
what a bargain so i found these two vintage pictures and this is not the type of stuff that i always grab however the big eyes type paintings type artwork wall decor whatever can do really well and that is such a great keyword to be able to use so we have a lion cub here they are marked i'm not sure of the year honestly and i'll have to do just a little bit more research to find out exactly like what it is and stuff but apparently they were quite popular i think in the 70s i'm not too sure let me know if you know down below so we've got the lion cub with the big eyes and we have uh, the puppy dog on the beach with the uh, uh, big big sad eyes i would say <laughs> so uh, i will sell those as a pair i also grabbed this um mostly because i love Shaun of the dead and i couldn't help myself but it was like 25 cents i think um this was a loot crate item from i think 2020 or so so not very old at all but there's not too many listed and halloween is coming up really quickly and um, so this is obviously like derivative of his uh cricket bat and it is um a shot glass holder or like a you know like a flight you could do like a flight of beer or whatever or you could even put like candles like a little votive holder or something like that either way um i think the last one sold for around like 15 or so so for 25 cents not bad at all and lastly i grabbed what i think is a vintage t-shirt i don't think it's like super vintage by any means but it is a little bit older um and i just thought it was kind of cool as well so here is the label definitely not too old um but it's the royal caribbean as well like the cruise line um, and that kind of stuff did just really well for me, especially as cruises pick up now and stuff. And it obviously says rush hour with different kinds of sort of tropical fish. And um, again, these kind of things sell really, really nicely for me. Keep my store ticking over. Okay, and then at the second yard sale, um, only got two items, paid $10 total for both of them. Um, so these are obviously Nikes. They are, they just said witness on them. Um, anything that number one is in really, really good shape. And these are in really good shape. There's a couple of teeny tiny little fuzzies like on the laces. They should take no time at all to clean up other than that just a quick sort of wipe down and a little bit of magic eraser will just in fact these are really really clean anyway but that'll just kind of like really neaten that up and so as i said in really good shape and because they had something that was sort of a bit more defining if you like this witness thing and um, i decided to look them up if you didn't know there is a style number in all nikes it is it's this one here it just happens to start with an a and also here's the date if you're wondering as well so these were made in 2018 um looking these ones up it looks like i can get anywhere from like 40 to 50 hopefully for them so uh, worth picking up for five bucks and then this um so vintage toys can obviously do really nicely we all kind of know that this isn't again i don't think this is like super vintage i would say probably like late 90s to 2000 something like that i'm sure it has a date on it somewhere um but i did look this up and when it has the majority of the pieces it doesn't have to be complete and i think most of them did not have the box either even if it is a bit beaten up we're selling for around 50 dollars. so again five dollars is an easy investment and um, with something like this with the box as well i can literally just bubble wrap around the whole thing and then i kind of do like i guess i do like poly mailers or something larger than that just to kind of seal all the way around and i ship it in its original box so that makes it really easy for for me for shipping as well and it does have like all the original kind of papers and things like that and it looks to be mostly complete i don't doubt that there are a few things in here that are missing and i'll make sure to disclose that but we have a lot of like all the mini figures and things like that i know that like the lion and the witch and the knight and the king and all that kind of stuff are floating around in here we have the drawbridge and the trapdoor all this kind of really really neat stuff um just kind of like rattling around so for five dollars i think especially with christmas time sort of unbelievably coming at us in the next few months and um, that this will fetch at least sort of 40 to 50 dollars all right you guys and that's it for today's haul obviously a small one but i like what i found and i can list these pretty quickly and pretty easily so they're not gonna be hanging around in my to list pile for too long as always if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like thrifting and yard selling and flipping stuff online for a profit then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out with me some more you'll find a link to my facebook group thrift nice down below in the description box as well where you can come and ask your reseller questions and get to know more people who flip stuff online for a living and lastly you'll find a link to my teespring store as well with lots of fun reseller and thrifting themed merchandise all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye